We learned so much today. It's great having the conservation area so close by for learning, hiking, and much more. We had an awesome experience. I liked the sparkling snow, and it was so beautiful as we walked through the forest. And I also liked learning about the different kinds of snowshoes because it was interesting. Thanks for a great day. It's wonderful to have such a nice area around here. It was fun doing experiments in the forest with Sandy, seeing all the wildlife and seeing all the hides on the train. But my favorite thing was seeing the hermitage in the gatehouse. I think I will want to work there when I get older. I think what you guys do is great. Yours truly, Bryce. A hawk rises, a red-shouldered hawk, one of the rarest in Ontario. It soars above lush Carolinian forest that is home to thousands of species, some, like the hawk, rare and precious. The hawk glides over a lush green valley, a massive 3,000 acre urban wilderness in the heart of Canada's 10th largest city. As one of 11 provincially significant parks along the Niagara Escarpment, the valley is a magical natural area within Ontario's Greenbelt and proclaimed by the United Nations as a World Biosphere Reserve. It is as rare and unique as the hawk and the forest it inhabits, filled with cold water streams, waterfalls, stunning geological formations, and an array of life found nowhere else. The hawk will never know just how close its habitat came to becoming a provincial highway. Nor does it know the area is now protected by the Hamilton Conservation Authority, which for 50 years has worked to ensure healthy streams and healthy communities, acquire and preserve environmentally significant wetlands and woodlands, protect our communities from flooding, promote reforestation and wise land management, and protect our water from source to destination. Keen hunting eyes scan the valley, part of 10,000 acres of land held in public trust by the HCA, which now include 14 Niagara Escarpment properties, 7 major conservation areas, 12 significant wetlands, and uncounted caves and underground streams. The hawk doesn't know this place as the Dundas Valley. The hawk simply knows it as home. So it comfortably alights upon the peak of a bright red building set atop a hill overlooking the splendor of the valley. Its regal presence thrills the children on the ground below. They are at the Dundas Valley Trail Center, in the very heart of the valley, in the very heart of Hamilton, Ontario. These children have never seen a red-shouldered hawk. Many children, in fact, experience this kind of rare encounter for the first time only by visiting the center a unique reproduction of a Victorian train station. Built in 1978, it has become a place to refresh and recharge with food and drink after a day's hike, bicycle, or horseback ride. As a trail center, it acts as the hub for 40 kilometers of valley trails and 200 kilometers of regional trails. As a nature center, it is a facility for education and interpretation, hosting year-round curriculum-based programs for all ages. As an escarpment center, it is not only home to HCA programs, but also the programs of its partner, the Giant's Rib Discovery Center, a nonprofit organization whose dedicated volunteers inform, educate, enlighten, and engage the public about the Niagara Escarpment. This is a place from which we can actually touch the valley's past. Even in its early history, the valley was important as a portage route to the interior for aboriginals and the earliest settlers. So we remember its heritage and share in the possibilities for its future. And it is the future to which we must now look, the future of the escarpment, the future of the valley, the future of all life within it, and the future of our children. While all around her cities will grow, 
the valley will remain unchanged. It must remain unchanged and preserved. And as the cities grow, it becomes even more important to have a dynamic community resource center. With each generation, an increasing number of children will need to be reconnected with nature, because nothing is real in a child's world unless it can be seen and touched. Educators and scientists recognize that connecting a child to nature reduces stress, increases creativity, cognitive skills, and independence, and develops the full use of senses. Classroom education supplies a child with an intellectual relationship with nature, but only outdoor education actually connects them with it, giving a feeling of self-worth, self-confidence, and something only a connection with nature can provide, perspective, respect for all living things and the planet that we share. From adventures in education for kindergarten to grade 12 students, to public and private camps, March break, summer and Christmas programs, the center is a place where children can step inside and learn and then step outside and experience. The center takes them away from iPods and computers and cell phones and video games. Learning here engages them in healthy physical and mental activities, reconnecting them with the land and the earth and all its living creatures. Its experience opens children's minds and hearts to the myriad of rare and unique life so close but unseen unless we teach them to look. To ensure a continuing legacy of outdoor education, the Hamilton Conservation Foundation is engaging citizens, community and service groups, and corporations to raise funds for outdoor education. With your help, we can ensure the legacy continues, that possibilities become reality, that future generations of children have a chance to learn, and future generations of red-shouldered hawks always have a home. And while cities will grow, our natural heritage will be preserved as we protect it and help guide its history. Help us write that history. Be a part of it. Make a difference. Because the future has yet to be written.